All right, here we go. You got a picture of the house, man? Yeah. Okay. Guys, we're getting ready to lock this thing down now. So we're trying to get it painted. So we're gonna paint all the brick. You can see the exterior color over there that we're gonna paint all the brick exterior color. The trim is gonna have this dark color. We're gonna stain the front and the door. They're all gonna be stained the same colors. And then we're also gonna put some shutters on this thing because we're gonna have shutters here, here, and here. On those three windows that have the arch on them with the exception of the one in the middle. And I think that's enough on the front. And so um, right now, we're getting ready to hang light fixtures. The light fixtures are gonna be delivered tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all the locks that I need to lock the house down. So it's time to lock the house down and, and when we get everything hung. So um, what we're gonna do is, at this point, we have to come in and open, the, unlock the house in the morning time and then lock it back up at nighttime when all the subs are gone because we don't want things to start mysteriously disappear. So let's kind of walk this down, make sure we don't Once again, it kind of got cleaned up around here. Uh, if you notice, uh, tile and stuff like that, that's, yeah, yeah, to me that stuff, we, we just, we'll cover this stuff in the backfield because it ain't nothing but dirt and clay anyway. Uh, ceramic tile, it's clay. Uh, you have the, um, now I took all the lumber, any kind of lumber that we had around here, I took that out and got rid of it and put it over here in that pile over there. So you got that pile of trash. Now I got a dumpster coming in this week, so I think we got enough to fill up that dumpster right now. So, you know, you don't want, you know, wood, we had a bunch of wood in, in, in the dirt here. You don't want wood to be in here because the wood decays and over time it creates voids and gaps inside the, the, the ground. And so what you would have is you would have uh, sinkholes that, that'll be here after that wood decays. And also it turns into methane. It releases a methane gas and that's not good as well. It, it stinks. So if we come through here, one thing that I'm gonna make sure I do is, you know, this right here, this stuff needs to be caulked real good, but once we stain this door, we can get the caulk in. What's that? You want to tell them about how um, keeping that archway? Oh, yeah. Now, when we initially did this right here, if you look at this arch, arch right here, the framers had it framed straight across. So, me and um, me and the camera guy, Max, what we had to do is we had to make this arch consistent with this arch at the door. Now the guys, they want to go ahead and lay it in. They want to go ahead and lay the stone the way it was, but that, to me, that's inconsistency because you, you got an arch here, you got an arch here, you got an arch here. And that would bother me every time I look at this house is this right here was straight across just like this right here. Okay. So that, that would create a problem with me. So we, um, we got up here and we framed this arch I didn't have any framers at the time. I called my framers up, but the guys were already laying the stone. They were halfway up there. And so I had to um, I had to get out here. That's why I keep tools in my car. So I had to get out here and we had to actually create that arch ourselves. Okay. So we got the nice arch. It's consistent now. It looks good. I like where it looks. All right. And now this is a I tell you what, I really like the colors. The colors are coming together really nicely. It's very, very neutral colors, kind of like a grayish look. It's going to give you that clean look. Um, the, the guys are painting the trim right now, so you can kind of see what's going on. They got an accent wall right there, which is satin. But typically, guys, what we do is, if you're doing new construction, you got to do flat paint. And the reason you're going to do flat paint is because you can't touch up on satin eggshell. You just can't do it. These subs are gonna to have to come through here and they're gonna to have to bust stuff up. I mean, we got all kinds of stuff that needs to be done. You have this, you have this right here. This trim needs to be put up around this door. We have um, a couple more of these picture frames. The reason the picture frames is off is because we got a we got an elastic arch that we put up here. Uh, the trim carpet's gonna need. You can't just cut that out. So you gotta order the arches and they're kind of elastic, kind of like you can flex them a little bit and you put them up here. So you gotta put the top up first before you can put these sides. 
So that's got to come. And then the electricians and all these guys, the HVAC contractor, these guys going to go through and bust this house up. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to all be all kinds of stuff going on here. Now, this is a very soft, easy, this is the master suite, and it has a very soft color. Very nice. I mean, I, I get kind of, I get kind of relaxed when I walk in here. So it has, these are some nice colors. Now, we still missed a few doors. I missed about four doors. We got some tile we're going to take back. Come on in here, man. We got some tile here we're going to take back. So we'll, we'll take that back in exchange and get a couple more things. I thought I saw a snake over here, man. I don't know what ran up out of it. But they're doing, they're priming this right here area. So this right here, they're coming in. They're painting all this up real good. They're making sure that we don't get anything on my floor. Pop that up, man. Let's take that back. Cause some of that get on the floor. So everything looks good. Everything so far looks good. Let me put that back because you just, if they spray paint it, it's gonna get on the floor. Vaseline on the hinges so when they paint everything, it doesn't, it gives a very better detail instead of putting tape in here and cutting it out. Then you have to pull that tape off and it sticks to it. So I think that's the, um, I was wondering why I saw a whole basket of hinges and Vaseline. Um, these guys kind of, I think they're at another level when it comes down to paint. I had some really good subs on this house. So put it over here. This is that nice color here again. Um, uh, we had an extra door, but we're missing another door upstairs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that extra door and we just have to make it fit on the door upstairs. So I think we're good on that. So. detail to make sure things are right. And I'm gonna tell you, 90% of your problems, when you build a house, 90% of the punch items is gonna be paint issues. And how I like for it to be, I usually like for, when I'm dealing with my paint, I like for my painter and my drywall guy to be the same guy. The reason being is because when we get down to the punch stuff, all the items at the end and we start punching the house out, I don't want the painter to blame the sheetrock guy, the sheetrock guy to blame the painter. And I'm kind of stuck in the middle trying to figure out how we're gonna get this stuff. Cause I, if I got a problem, I got to get the problem taken care of. I don't want those guys pointing fingers at each other. I just want it done, you know, at the end of the day. So that's a good thing. I'm the, the, the same guy that I'm dealing with when it comes down to the paint, the same guy I'm dealing with when it comes down to the sheetrock. Okay. Let's go upstairs and make sure everything's good upstairs. All this is gonna get, these steps are gonna get sanded and gonna get some stain on it. It's kind of dark up here. So let me just kind of look at this room right here. Oh, wow, this room looks a different color than it was the other day. Uh, oh, you know, it's just dark. That's what it is. This room got a different ceiling up here, so it looks looks really good. So we come through here. The doors have been painted. I think we're using 
semi gloss on the door. Gonna walk through here. Also, I'll tell you what else they did. The painter put some kind of, if you look right here, if you get kind of close to right here, he painted some kind of stuff. Instead of using plastic on these windows or instead of him just painting the whole thing, we have to use a scraper to pull this stuff off. He painted this stuff on this window like a coat so we can just peel it off at the end and it's real, it's real close. It's real tight. So it's very meticulous. So this is another new thing that I hadn't seen before either. So this, this guy looks like they kind of cutting edge paint. This is like a different color right here. I know this is a different color. You can't really see everything because everything's covered up, but you can see where we paint the trim. So the trim is being painted. You know, all for here painted up. Okay. Did you have any questions? We got another door right here. It looks like we got another door. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with that one. This is an extra door. I don't know what, what is coming. I got to go check my invoices. I'm going to tell you something else, guys. You got to always check your invoices. When these guys, you'll be amazed that every time there's a problem with invoicing, or there's a problem, when you're a builder and you have problems in invoicing, those problems are not going to ever be to your benefit as a builder. It's, it's never. It's always going to be an additional charge. And then the funny thing about it is when you find a mistake and the mistake was on their side, oh, we just made a mistake. Uh, I'm sorry. And then that's what you're going to get. But when you got, it almost seems like if it's truly and honest, then I would say when you look at probability theory, that if you have truly honest mistakes in invoices, let's just say, for instance, I got 100 mistakes that was made in invoices. Then, at, then if, if I would say if there were honest mistakes, then at least half of them should benefit them and the other half should benefit me. If it's a true honest mistake. But what I see is none of them ever benefits me. So it almost makes me feel like it's not a mistake sometimes. I don't, I don't know, and I'm not going to claim, uh, accuse anybody of, um, it's just the nature of this game. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not keeping up with it. But um, I don't want to accuse anybody of trying to you know, take money away from it. But it's just kind of funny that none of the mistakes ever benefits me. It always benefits this other subs. Now, I'm dealing with different subs. So if you've got, a, if you got 100 subs, um, out of those 100 subs, 50% you know, of them ought to be to my benefit. But it's always, you know, none of them ever benefit me. So I have to, I have to question that. I have to see something right here. So I think we're good. Let's go outside. Make sure we get everything outside. So, like I said, I'm going to start locking these doors up. So I think we uh, got a lot of put on this one today. Still walk around this thing. You got any questions, Mike? Yes, sir. Everything makes sense? Yes, sir. Save and take to another job site. I am. I got some rebar over there. I'm gonna take that to another job site. I got some rebar chairs. I got some um I probably got all kinds of stuff on the inside here. But yeah, we're gonna this is nice and clean. 
And so, um, I think we're good. Yeah, we got it cleaned up down here pretty good, man. And so, I think that. Well, these guys got some panel box on here, man. You got a light on that thing? Yeah. Is it shining? Let's see. Let me see how it look right here. Oh, okay. They hadn't put anything. They just put the boxes in. Okay. So we're about to get that done. All right. Until next time. Like, share. You know something? I forgot to get that shirt out there. Like, share, and subscribe. You guys have a good one. Oh, my God.